everyone, Jono here, back with a different video this time. My grandpa, the awesome guy that he is, went to his usual hangout spots and bought me and my brother back some booster packs. For anyone that knows my papo, the stuff he brings back to the home at times is a little sketch, which is great news for us because we get to make a video about it. In front of us we have one pack of Extreme Victory, one pack of Scarlet and Violet, and three Silver Tempest packs. Let's move the Pokemon to the side and start with this one. Already, we can spot some sketchiness. For starters, we have a very weird looking image of Junk Berserker. Last time I checked, it didn't look like TG Wonder Magician. This is gonna be a fun one. I couldn't contain my excitement and I already opened the pack. I wanted to see how bad of a fake we were dealing with here. The blurb on the back of the card is sadly as per normal, so we don't get to poke fun at that one. The cards, however, well, let's just jump right in and start off with Xian's Dojo. The flavor text of the card is normal. The card itself, however, is a bit crap. It's very poorly cut out and very poorly washed out with colors. Don't worry, it's authentic. We have the silver square in the bottom corner. Ah, uh, primary school days. Next up, we have Necro Defender. Another card on the surface which seems to be okay. Until we zoom into the flavor text, there we go. Instead of Fiend, we have the word Demon. Mmm, very scary indeed. Other than that, not much to report. Things are looking fairly normal for now. Let's see what the next card brings for us. Next up, we have Power Up Connector. Last time I checked, it wasn't called that. From memory, it's Power Up Adapter. Points for having passable English. And on that, let's look at the flavor text. After activation, this card becomes an equipped card and is equipped to a face-up Deformer Monster. Hmm. Well, I found the non-politically correct way to say Morphtronic. Well, I'm adding Deformer Monster to the card dictionary now. The next cards following this only go up from here. Moving on, we have the card Psycho Reactor. Not Psychic, Psycho. The thing I don't friggin' get is that I wrote the word Psychic correctly in the flavor text, but not in the card name itself. What the heck, mate? Bit lazy there. Ah, oh, well. Let's move on to the next card, and we have... Ahem, Moving Fortress Fortissimo. Not Fortissimo the Mobile Fortress, Moving Fortress Fortissimo. The card's flavor text reads that once per turn, you can special summon one mechanized soldier from your hand to your field. Doing a quick Google search on what the heck a mechanized soldier is meant to be, I believe it's trying to say Mech Lord Army. You know what, I'll give a pass to the translators on that one. It's close enough. Just like this next card, Honorable Retiree of the Six Samurai. In truth, if I was this card, I would much rather be called Honorable Retiree instead of Elder. The card effect appears to be the same, so that's what it's got going for it at the moment. But other than that, a very top tier fake right here. Moving on, we now have the, the, the Tech Genus Blade Gunner, aka TG Blade Blaster. I will give this fake props in that it's actually correctly expanded the TG of this card to Tech Genus. It also continues this in the flavor text. If it's hard to read, just know that it's equally as difficult to read without the camera lens. What's also hard to read is this next card. Get ready for it. Deformer Lighten. Deformer Lighten. The Wish.com version of Morphtronic Lantron. Can we stop and appreciate how freaking ginormous the bullet points are in the card's flavor text? Seriously. I would say nothing can top this, but now we have our final card. <sighs> Polar God Monarch Thor. Where do I begin with you? Starting off, this is Thor, Lord of the Azir, for those that didn't know. It is a Beast Warrior monster, though when you zoom in on it, it says Beast Slash Warrior, and it also came out in Storm of Ragnarok. Not Extreme Victory. So I am just as confused as you are as to what the hell this card is doing here. Looking at its materials, it requires a Polar Star Beast Tuner and two or more non-tuner monsters. This fake is so powerful that the square in the bottom corner has also disappeared. <sighs> right. That's the end of this booster pack, and it's, um, yeah, a bit crap. So, let's put the Yu-Gi-Oh to the side and bring out the Pokemon. Let's start with Silver Tempest. Actually, no, change my mind. Let's start with Scarlet and Violet, since we only have one of them. I think I've opened one of these packs before, but I don't really remember it. The cards were, for all intents and purposes, correct-ish, barring some dodge attack power. Mmm. Get a lot of the authenticity of this back card. PSA 10 on that alignment. And first up, we have a shiny Ice Q V. 
who says that Blizzard causes a massive 7,120 points of damage. On to the next card is an upside down Decidueye. Sorry, Hisuian Decidueye. Love it. Briefly going to jump cut because my kid woke up, and we're back to the cards. Yeah, Hisuian Decidueye. I might have to zoom out of this clip because I've cut off the top of the card. Up next we have Graplock V, which hasn't got much to report on that one other than some monstrous attack. A Pikachu V Max in all its holographic not glory. Ooh, shiny. Then we have an Agron V. This entire pack, how lucky. Every single card's a V card. I find it weird how it struggles with four digit numbers. I don't get why there's a space in front of the seven. We now have Glaceon, which is absurdly powerful for what it is. A Palti Geist, because why not? Another Pikachu V Max, because we are ever so lucky to draw two of them. Then a Mimikyu, because let's just keep the Pikachu hype going. And then we draw into the Ace card, which is Arceus, Diago, and Palkia GX. A card so strong that the number hasn't even been printed on correctly. All that power radiating from this one card. Wow. Well, this pack was a bit crap. Let's move on to the next ones. Jump cut. We're on to the next set of packs, and let's start off with this one. Let's ignore that the Silver Tempest is brutally off-center, and look at the back. A Dazzling Discovery. Hmm. Let's find out about that. Jeez, these have been glued together with some form of high bond cement, man. What the hell? Anywho, looking at this pack, I have never seen you know, a card flip that way. So let's just zoom in on this one, and we have a very nice looking Darkrai V-Star. Knowing nothing about the Pokemon TCG, I can immediately see that the HP and attack points seem to be semi-normal. We might be onto a very good fake here. This does feel solid though, so I'll give it compliments to that and has a bit of a thready effect to it as well. The back on the other hand, still looks pretty crap. Oh well. Let's get on to the common cards or less common cards of this pack. First up we have a Machoke, which also looks pretty normal. A Magina, which also looks pretty normal. A Nuzleaf, you know, if you like Nuzleaf. A Peserka V, full art, which should be shiny but isn't. A Gudra V Max, which should also be shiny but isn't. A Binnacle, and lastly, oh no, not lastly, a Snorlax, an Electros, now lastly, an Enamorous V. Hmm, look at the psychicness on that one. And it feels strangely flimsy, like it's using half the paper stack. The Darkrai feels the closest to an actual card, and actually looks pretty neat for a fake. Oh well. Let's move that to the side and open up the next pack. Another jump cut. Alright, we're back again, and this time the camera is much clearer. I'm sorry about the wobbles, the boom arm is, I don't know, very springy. Opening this pack with the force of a gorilla, we look at more fake cards. I will say compared to the Scarlet and Violet pack, these are better fakes. And there we go, here's another one. We have a Boltown VMAX. Again, this feels pretty thick, looks pretty sweet, but obviously fake. Let's look at our commons. We have a Pikachu, for those that love that card, and a Tenatus V which looks pretty schmick but should be shiny. An Adventurer's Discovery, which I think I might just keep, that looks cool. A Radiant Steelix, which I didn't know was a thing. A Giratina V, because we're very lucky. A Gudra V, because we're double double lucky. A Bronzong. A Zorok V, sorry, Hisuian Zorok V. And a Jinx. Sadly, these aren't providing as much entertainment as the prior fakes, but let's see what we're gonna find in this last pack. Let's shove this to the side and bring on the last copy of Silver Tempest. Spinning this around for effect, failing out of the process, we open it again with a struggle. And this time I'm going to try and hide the back card, you know, for dramatic effect. Let's just move this off screen. There we go. Moving it back like every great magician's card trick. The first card is a Galarian Stunkfish. Then, I can't pronounce that card. A Gallade V. A Crobat V. I love the artwork. A Pyroar. A Lost Vacuum? What the frick is a Lost Vacuum? It's under the couch. A Giratina V-Star, almost have a playset here. A Hisuian Gudra, Psychic Energy, let's just zoom that in right there. Mmm, Illuminati much. A Hisuian Zorok V-Star, and an Umbreon V-Max. That looks pretty cool for a fake. Again, solid card, but yeah, obviously fake. Well, that brings us to the end of the fake pile. Do I know what I want to do with any of these cards? Not really. If you feel like sending me, I don't know, anything to review, go for it. 
or heck anything in general, I do have a PO box. I'll post it in the description and embed it in this video. I should just give these away, or at least make them a prize maybe for the next Twitch stream. Unless someone desperately wants them, if they're building a fake card collection, if that's the case, drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. Just don't go posting your addresses, please peeps. I'm going to end this video with the most iconic card of the set, Polar God Monarch Thor. This thing exists. Anywho, thank you all so much for making it to the end of this video. The proper run is in the works, this is just something small to keep you going. So for the meantime, stay awesome people, hope you all draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 Raigekis for the win. Silly me, I forgot to put a slab on this tombstone. There we go.